In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace a background. So once you have the photo up that you want to use, go ahead and click on Layers, and then click on the photo of the new background that you want to use and drag it and set it on top. And then click on your background and right click and duplicate that layer. We're duplicating it because we can't move this one. We want to move this on top and it says that it it won't allow it. Background layer must stay in the background. So click OK and we've duplicated it and this one we can move. So move that one up and then just turn this first background layer off. And then also change your viewer to viewer only mode. And then we're going to go ahead and start deleting the background, erasing the background. Normally what I would do is I would click the Select Area tool and I would choose the Smart Brush and I would just go ahead and click and drag. But I found with this particular photo when I did this it was having a difficult time finding this edge and I kept having to correct it because there's not a lot of contrast between the water and the dock and the water and his shirt. So I decided not to do it this way. So click this for clear selection. What we'll do is we'll go up and we'll use the eraser tool instead. So click the eraser tool and make sure your opacity is on 100. And for this part I put it on pencil we're going to change it to brush once we get close to the edges, but for now we'll keep it on pencil. And then just start clicking and dragging and erasing. And get as close as you can to the edges. So now what we want to do is we want to change our eraser to the brush and we want to zoom in to about a hundred and then if you hit your space bar it changes to a hand and then you can just click and drag. Actually let's do this area in here without the eraser. Let's use the magic wand. So that should be simple. So Go up here and click Select Area Tool and click the magic wand. And let's try this tolerance of 9, see how that works. And just start clicking. And then go up here and choose the scissors, Delete Selection. Click that. And then if you want to see what it looks like without all those lines, clear your selection. And then if you just want to keep clicking and deleting, you can do that. Or you can go back up to your eraser and start cleaning it up in here that way. But this does take time, so you do have to have patience. You'll have to keep zooming in. Hit the space bar to get the hand so you can move the image. And we can go back to the select area tool if you want. Make sure you're on the magic wand. Click that. And then click Delete Selection. I'm using a mouse today. I typically use a Wacom uh, tablet, but I lent it to somebody, so I don't have it. So this isn't as accurate as it normally would be. So once your selection is complete, just go up here 
the Glares Layer Manager, and Merge Visible. And then you can just go ahead and save it, export or save selected photo as.